So the last one is really the exact same thing, guys. Look at it. Do we, is this point on the inner circle? Well, first of all, we have no idea, because we don't even know what the value of x is, right? So you can't answer that question. You have no idea. But, and again, so we have no idea if it's on the inner circle, so we don't want to use y, nor do we want to fall asleep. What we want to do then is set up a representation, just like we did in the last problem. Can we understand this as sine of some angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse? Right? So now again, everything's positive. If we look at our restrictions on sine inverse, we only got two options, guys. You either triangle is in the first or the fourth quadrant. Obviously, everything's positive, or the opposite side's positive, so therefore we know it's in the first quadrant, right? So you don't really need to write the quadrant in there if you don't want to, but we know it's going to look like that. So here we have 2 over x. Now can I take the tangent of that equation? Sure I can, right? I just need to figure out what this side is. Let's call it a again. So let's go ahead and use Pythagorean theorem again. a squared plus 2 squared is equal to x squared. And I get a squared plus 4 equals x squared. Subtract 4, subtract 4. a squared equals x squared minus 4. Square root, square root. I know, again, it has to be positive. So it's x squared minus 4. So I'll just write this as square root of x squared minus 4. So typically, your equation would say, you know, evaluate this in terms of x. So then I just have now. I have my opposite over my adjacent, right? So this answer is 2 over square root of x squared minus 4. If you want to write this in simplified form, or after rationalizing the denominator, it would look like that. Question? So the key trick for you guys, since you're like, whoa, this is if you know the value is on the unit circle, then use